Excuse me. Excuse me. Could, so, I, could I trouble you for a bite? You? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Merlin. I can't even eat my ice cream. Peace. Could, could I trouble you for a bite? I don't know where he gets this Excuse from. Excuse me. Damn. Just, Ow. Uh, just Ow. Little, little. Sir. Did you guys get, ever get to that rice? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You win. You win. You win. Damn. <laughs> Still 2020 guys, so um, I'm gonna do what every responsible husband should be doing for their husband tonight. Hi honey. Hi. I What's have some, that? well before that, I need something from you. What's that? Love you. Love you too. I got you something, some water before work, or after work. Yes. Come on. Hey, you two! <laughs> How embarrassing! That's what you guys get from messing with Merlin. Hey, he was sitting there peacefully. Give me that back. Give me that. How dare you? This feels right. It does feel right, doesn't it? Yeah, you wanna give me a little massage? Why is Coda's hair all ruffled? What happened? What happened to you, sir? Hello, good sir. Looks like you've had a rough day. You need a bath. He actually does need a bath. It needs a shave too. He's you guys are late. It's all those treats, huh? Yeah. You had a lot of treats, and you got a lot of you got a big, little big belly now. Someone else is trying to get some treats too. Damn, Merlin! I felt that plop from here. He has a big knot right here, right on his neck. Have you felt it? Yeah, I gotta cut it off. It's right there. This one's gonna be hard to get though, cause it's really close to his skin. I got it. We're gonna have to put him under, under for this one, I think. Put him under? Yeah. We're gonna have to You're put him crazy. Under. <sighs> Can we uh, cheers? To only a couple more weeks left of 2020. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. We only have like a month and a week. It's almost over. I'm telling you, the moment midnight hits on the first, mm -hmm. everything will be back to normal. Well, that's my, that's my, that's how I want to, that's my fantasy. That's how I feel like it needs to play out. It's only right for the universe. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. We could do that in our heads. Like, we can live in our own weird fantasy world if you want. We no. could just go crazy. If you were a fruit, what fruit would you be? An apple. Why? Because I'm the, I'm so tasty it's a sin. Cause you get it? Cause it's like a play off of Adam and Eve, but Adam and Steve, because I'm gay. <laughs> You're just a fruit. I wanna be a dragon fruit. You're not a dragon sign though. That sounds, that sounds magical. It is magical. You're a tiger though. You're not a dragon you sign. You think you're so cool because you're a tiger sign? I'm not a tiger sign. You're a tiger sign. I'm a tiger sign. I'm, t I'm a tiger and I'm a Leo. You know what I figured out? That's double the feline. For anyone that believes in all of this stuff, I figured out that you, specifically, and Merlin have this tension between you because you're both cats. <laughs> he did not appreciate that. Yeah, he, he didn't. He looks shocked. It's okay, Merlin. I'm sorry. You think you're just so cool because you're a dragon sign. Dragons are dynamic. They get along with everything, usually. Usually. They eat anything. Yeah, they do. Everything else is a real animal. Then there's you. Excuse me? The are you talking, you're talking about Chinese zodiac? Right? Yes. What, what, who said dragons aren't real? You know what's funny? I just saw this meme the other day. Speaking of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, dinosaurs are real, but... You know you think of them and you think of them as not real because they were so long ago and it's like... You know what I mean, kind of, or no? Wait, what? Don't dinosaurs kind of seem like oh. they're like... <laughs> like when I was a kid, I didn't think they were real, obviously, because that was so young. But so wait, 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 so okay. <laughs> You went to school. Yeah, I can't. No. Your teachers are talking to you about dinosaurs, you're like, I don't believe that. That's a conspiracy. <laughs> Little five-year-old Aaron was like, no, that's not true. I'm sorry. It's not true. I just don't believe it. I walked out. I put my glasses up. I walked out. Yeah, you that was, that's it. That. No, that's not what I meant, though. Religion. Shit. That's not what I... Oh, my God. That's not what I meant. I meant... Like before I knew about dinosaurs, like I probably like was like four or something. Like you know what I mean? Like I thought they were fantasy creatures, like dragons. Okay, I blame your mother. <laughs> no, but then like I learned it right away. Obviously, when you're taught it, like when you learn in school, like yeah, there's dra there's uh dinosaurs. Yeah, there's dragons. You almost said yeah, there's dragons. So oh, the meme. This is wait, what wait, I'm getting wait, to. Can you tell the story? Can you give me just one second? All right. Oh my gosh. He's a dragon. 
That's kind of weird. And guess what? He's a dinosaur. That is weird. See, that's I told you opposites. Dinosaur. Definitely dragon. Oh, no, because I'm, you would be the dragon. But we're opposites. I get along with opposites. That's why you chose the dinosaur. Oh, God. I mean, that's why so I chose the dragon. I'm a dinosaur and you're a dragon. Well, I Don't mean. Don't <laughs> go there. You are two years older than me. <laughs> I'm actually not two years older than you. I'm one month, excuse me, one year and 11 months older than you. Actually, if you want to get technical, you're one year and 28 no, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 19. 21 days. 19. Okay, 19 oh days. My God. <laughs> you know what dragons can do? What? Math. It's because they only have like three fingers. What? They have four fingers. No, they have three fingers and a thumb. How do you know the body parts of a dragon? How do you not? Oh my God, I can't, I can't. What school did you go to? Not, well, not Dragon Academy of the Arts. The whole point of the story was let's talk about a meme about dinosaurs, right? I, I don't, it's been so far past that that I don't remember, but go ahead. Anyways, so dinosaurs, there was a meme that someone put around it was so funny because it was like, tell me that dinosaurs don't look like this or didn't look like this, prove me wrong. And it was all these dinosaurs with long hair. <laughs> because there's no way of like, of knowing like, I guess there's no way. I don't know how scientific that is, but I guess there was no way of knowing like if they had hair or not like that. So they could have had like just all like Merlin. They could have looked like fluffy Merlins, but like gigantic Merlins. Oh my God, that's crazy. Why didn't you send that to me? I don't know, I should have. You, sh you most certainly should have. I like a lot of memes oh, though. Rap you send me, you can't send me that one. Hey! <laughs> Speaking of dinosaurs, how was your day today? <laughs> why is that a dinosaur thing? Wait, why is that a dinosaur thing? Cause you're you old. Cause I'm old? Yeah. What? what? Excuse me? But you're cute. What does Koda want? Does he want attention? He wants a T-R-E-A-T. -E well, he's not getting one. I gave him so much today. I no, you so didn't. Today. You I never did. give him T-R-E-A-T. -E I gave him so many. I gave him so many today. Did he? What kind did his, What kind of treats does he have? Did oh. Koda? Ah! Oh. God damn it. Koda, is that your bark box? It is a bark box. <laughs> Oh Why do I keep making that mistake? Come on, man. Come on. Can you give me his Wait, nails? how does that hurt you? Have you seen his nails? Well, we gotta cut them. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so guess which toy he's gonna love the most because he always takes it to. Oh, but there's treats in here too. He's gonna want this. I don't think. It, I don't think you like the turkey leg because it's really thick. Oh, okay. We'll throw it up and see. I'm, I'm gonna place my bets on. Um, Wait, rip off the tags. You think it's the mac and cheese, or do you think it's the turkey leg? I'm gonna say mac and cheese. I think it's turkey leg. And may the best toy win! <laughs> That's not fair, you threw it fat further. He wanted to get it. You know he likes even more than toys though? T-R-E-A-T. <laughs> he like dropped the toy. Merlin. There you go, they're right there. No, they're right. Oh, distract Koda, distract Koda, distract. How are those treats treating you? Can I have one? Just one. Just one. I want this one. Give it back to him. Oh, oh. <coughs> you know what I'm excited for? What? I'm excited for when we can do this with our kids. Throw treats at them? Make them go chase it? No, throw treats away so they'll leave me alone. Oh! So I get some work done for once. I don't know. This year's just been so crazy. I'm so over it and I'm ready for it to go away. But um, it sucks too because we really, we haven't been back home you guys in California in a year and a half and we really want to go visit our family. Is that crazy how you still call it back home though? I know, I think it will always be home. It is kind of hard to break out of that habit though. I don't know, I mean we were there since until we were in our late 20s. I know, that's so crazy. So being in one place for 27, 28 years and then going somewhere else, it's still an adjustment three years later, I feel like. It's almost four years later. Is it? Yeah, I think April is four years since we've been in Oregon. It does not feel like that. It yeah. does, but it doesn't at the same time. Yeah, it's it, it also goes like every, uh, what I've noticed at least, I think what we both noticed, if we don't go to visit California, our family, within a year, once it, the year is up, it starts, we start to get really depressed. And we always start thinking like, should we go back home? Like, should we move back to California? Like, we'll get that kind of thoughts in our heads. But, um, Right now, it's like we're kind of like going up and down in depression, like because we we miss our families, we haven't seen them in over a year, a year and a half. It was um, 
July of not last year, the year before. And so it just it just kind of sucks. And we wanted we wanted to go at the end of January, but now with all the, the COVID cases spiking, we're like, we probably shouldn't go. Um, so we're kind of playing it by ear right now and trying to see how we feel. But I mean, for you, it's really hard working from home, which is kind of interesting to see from his perspective because working from home has always been my goal because I always wanted, you know, I want to write and I want to just write as a full, write full time. And um, Aaron gets to do art full time and there's sometimes where you go crazy, right? Being at home? Yeah, I mean, I can be alone. It's weird, like I'm usually an alone type of person. Like I like my own space like that, but I do love people and I love meeting people and I like making new friends. But I think COVID adds another layer to it because you can't go out and make new friends or meet new people. So it gets pretty lonely sometimes when you're working from home. It's not all it's cracked up to be all the time. Like, yeah, it's cool because you're working from home, but there's other like things you don't think about, like your mental health, like it's, it takes a toll on you a little bit. Like you miss interaction with people, even if it's just, you know, like regular interaction. So there's that. That's but, really crazy though. It's like a crazy concept to think about. Cause I actually remember too, when COVID first started, the first two weeks were really hard for me. Like I was just like, I, I didn't realize that I needed people in my life. And um, yeah. I didn't really needed it. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing like you do have each other, like, always be grateful that we have each other because there's no one that compares to you. And like, I just love spending time with you all the time. And we're one of those rare, like people that like, you know, there's some people, some people don't like to spend a lot of time with their partner, but I don't know for you, like I love spending time with you and I can spend every day with that with you and just, it works. And you know I love what I mean? spending time with you. Like we don't get on each other's nerves as much as I guess other people would because we just, we're used to spending time together. That's the way it's always been. But I think it's it's just like really crazy lately. I think COVID is that other layer, like I said. It's definitely it's a a new a new le a, excuse me a more more layer to it. Yeah, because like if I was working from home, so I could still go for a run or go like meet someone like at you know at a coffee shop or something like because I'll go draw there or something. You know what I mean? Like there's still that, but I can't do that right now. So there are checks and minuses to working from home. It's not all just. Oh, you have to do whatever you want. Cause you still have to work. You do have to work. And you have to have like, I think it's like a special kind of person. Well, not like a special kind of person, but like a very. Personality type. Yeah, very motivated to, to work from home. Because I know for me, like I could work from home because I am, I can, just like you, we can schedule ourselves and make sure that we're working. We'll probably work more working for ourselves than we do working for other people. Yeah. And, um, but a lot of people can't do that because when they're home, they're just in their comfort zone. So they like watch Netflix. We're not the type of people that can just sit there and watch TV all day. We have to do something. So I know, I wish I could just relax most of the time, but most of the time we're just go, go, go. We're always doing something. Always doing something. Always. So it's kind of hard to just like sit there, but I wish, sometimes I wish I could just be like that. But it does help with the whole working from home thing because I'm just working the whole time <laughs> kind of thing, you know? I don't know, It's it's uh, it's been a crazy year. I cannot wait, but we could just hang in there for like another year or two. It's not that much to say. A year or two? Whatever this COVID thing turns out to be, if it's, it's a year. January 1st. Okay, whatever it is. I've already, like, I put that out into the universe and on January 1st at midnight, everything goes away. Just like that. All right. Cool. I've already, I've already foretold this. The prophecy has yet to come. I really hope so. I do too. If for some reason it does end up lasting another six months to a year or two, just think about it. It's just a little bit more to sacrifice just to save some more lives and just to like, think about the years after all this is over. How awesome it's gonna be again. It's gonna be in a renaissance again. We're all gonna be good. We can go do whatever we want. We can do whatever, like yeah. just be happy. Like just hold on. Just imagine in 10 years from now, go, looking back and be like, do you remember 2020? That shit sucks. No one will talk about like, it. Like everyone's gonna be like, well, well, what did you do during 2020? Like it's gonna be, and just think about all the kids that missed out on it. They're like, you don't understand. They'll never we understand. Went, We're gonna bond over this. We're gonna be, oh, you don't even know what it was like. It's gonna be awesome. We can bond over something. But it's gonna be over soon. Just hang in there and just keep 
being happy and doing happy you. things. Just have fun, right? right? Have fun right now. Thanks for sticking around and watching us, and we hope you guys are all your, all of you guys and your family, your friends, and yourselves are staying happy and healthy throughout this year. Yeah, love you guys, and make sure to like and subscribe if you want, if you want to stick around, and hope we can hang out again. Love you guys. Hey guys, thank you again for watching Husband and Husband. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our stuff, you can join our Patreon where we do exclusive comics, videos, and a live stream every month. Also, you can find my book and Aaron's comics on our web store. Thank you guys for all of your support, and we couldn't do this without all of your help. Thank you for being a part of the Husband and Husband family.